hi guys welcome back to Android tutorial in this part of this tutorial we are going to learn how to create or how to displaying a notification in an Android phone a notification is one of the most important feature of an Android device a notifications are information appear on the status bar of the phone for example arrival of a new message a new updation available for your system or a new update is found for a currently installed application from the market etc are examples for notifications okay here are the steps for creating notifications first of all a notification is invoked or started using pending indent We are using pending indent object because a notification is opened by the user at any time. Here is the example for creating the pending indent object. Pending indent PI is equal to pending indent. We use the method called get activity for getting the pending indent object. There are three arguments, not three, there are four arguments for the get activity method first one is the application context sorry the context uh, next one is a request code a request code is essential for cancelling the for cancel the uh, notification generated by the activity next one is the intent object and finally a flag the next step is you have to create an instance of the notification manager class here is the syntax for creating an instance of notification manager class notification manager nm is equal to notification manager here we cast the object and we use a method called get system service as argument there is an argument called the notification service the next step you have to create or you have to get an object of the notification class here is the syntax for getting an object of notification class notification nf is equal to new notification there are two arguments icon and notification message and finally you have to set the notification details using the method called set latest event info method okay guys thank you for watching in the next part of this tutorial I am going to explain how to generate a notification in Android using a working example. Please subscribe my channel for further updates. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.